think we're all healthy most of the time, but there are times we get sick, and sometimes we get really, really sick, and the consequences can be quite serious. There are several problems with our health system. First, we actually treat people after they get sick. We actually don't do much to keep them healthy and understand what's going on while they're healthy. And the other is we're in a one-size-fits-all. We basically give people the same treatment even though we're all individuals and even though the way we may respond will be very different. So what I think we need to do is switch from this one-size-fits-all to something that's individualized, where every person's treated according to their genetics, all their life history and their environmental exposures. There's an amazing revolution going on right now. Omics is really seeing the entire collection of molecules that make up you. Basically, it's your DNA, it's your proteins, it's all your metabolites and such. The sequencing of the human genome was a huge, huge major step in making all this happen. So for the first time in 2001, people were able to decode the DNA of a human being. And that basically set up a reference onto which we could actually do a lot of the mapping we're talking about. We can now sequence people's DNA and understand their genetic basis of disease at a level that's never been possible. Mass spectrometry lets us follow tens of thousands of molecules. And because of this, we're getting an IMAX-like movie of what's going on when people are healthy and when they're sick. In many respects, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle can be made of a thousand pieces. And you don't really see the picture until you put all those pieces together. That's the same for omics. You basically try and understand all the individual pieces so you can see the whole picture. NASA twin study is an amazingly unique study where we're studying Scott and Mark Kelly. In this study, we have one twin launching into space, undergoing incredible stress responses during launch and during the time he's living in space. And the other twin, the identical twin, is living on the ground and a normal life. And really what's nice about omics is we're gonna see a picture of both of these astronauts at a level that's never been looked at before. We're gonna be making billions of measurements of the one on the ground and the other one in space. And we'll see what space really does to the human body. I think this study will be very valuable for understanding space travel because ultimately we hope to send people to Mars. And that's going to be a long period, probably several years. And by getting this IMAX type movie of what's going on as people see uh, space radiation, space food, all the environmental impact of space, we'll be able to better treat, hopefully, astronauts and manage their health while they go on this incredible journey. Omics is really an amazing field where we can look at people and their health at a level that's never been possible before. And with that, we'll be able to better manage people's health and try and keep them healthy, again, long before they get sick.